Okay, a bunch of cartoon characters. Let's talk about this hilarious hypothesis known as the shopping cart theory. Now, I have heard of this for some time, but it really started taking off recently, and this weekend it was trending. So I was like, what the hell? Let's actually do a video on this. Let's read out the theory and poke some freaking holes in it, okay? Because that's what I like to do. That's how I get down. And I'll, I can offer you some other, you know, suggestions if that helps, I guess. But that's not really the point. This is a critique of the shopping cart theory, which is really a hypothesis, like I said, because, you know, me, I have respect for the term theory. The only time I flippantly use it is when we're talking about conspiracy theories. So, the shopping cart hypothesis, here we go. The shopping cart is the ultimate litmus test for whether a person is capable of self-governing. You basically lost me already. When you say ultimate litmus test, boy, you better have a friggin' stellar argument because I can already think of about 20 things, not just actions, but beliefs as well, that are much more important than whether somebody returns their shopping cart. It's not even close, actually. <laughs> to return the shopping cart is an easy, convenient task and one which we all recognize is the correct, appropriate thing to do. I agree with that. I agree with that. I think that's a very fair statement. To return the shopping cart is objectively right. There are no... Don't overuse the word objective. So you're overusing the word objective already. There are no situations other than dire emergencies in which a person is not able to return their cart. That is not correct. Simultaneously, it is not illegal to abandon your shopping cart. That's, that's correct. That is, that is true. Therefore, the shopping cart presents itself as the apex example of whether a person will do what is right with that. You know what? That's actually not true. I have to take that back. It's not true. It depends on where you abandon it. Abandoning your shopping cart in the middle of a busy intersection is illegal. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Or on the highway. That's illegal. You can't do that. It depends. See, I got you already a couple times. Therefore, the shopping cart presents itself as the apex example of whether a person will do what is right without being forced to do it. No one will punish you for not returning the shopping cart. It depends. No one will fine you or kill you. I hope they wouldn't kill you, but they might fine you. Certain stores do fine you, actually. You must return the shopping cart out of the goodness of your own heart. I think that's a fair statement. That's what you, you, you know, you should. You ought to, is really what they mean, say. You ought to return it out of the goodness of your own heart, out of just being a decent person, the, meeting the bare minimum. Not the ultimate level, but the bare minimum. You must return the shopping cart because it is the right thing to do, because it is correct. Okay, fair enough. A person... <laughs> here we go. <laughs> a person who is unable to do this is no better than a savage, than an animal. An absolute savage who can only be made to do what is right by threatening them with a law and the force that stands behind it. Going off the rails there, buddy. Just a little bit, don't you think? With such a low bar. The shopping cart is what determines whether a person is a good or bad member of society. I'm sure a lot of Nazis return their shopping carts. Are they good members of society? I guess they'd have to be according to this theory. I choose to think a little deeper than that. Guys, <laughs> this is so easy to debunk. It's actually un almost unbelievable that this started to trend. Now, maybe it's just because it's a little bit of a joke. Uh, it's a little bit of satire or parody on society. But um, some people are really actually taking this seriously. Guys, if this is your ultimate lisp litmus test, your society will fail. <laughs> okay? If that is the ultimate... Don't, don't ask me. Start a commune and only let people in that return their shopping carts. Let me know how that works out. Not going to end too well. Not going to end too well. I imagine it'll be more of a Jim Jones ending than... <laughs> it'll be more of a Jim Jones ending than one where people voluntarily leave, if you know what I'm talking about. Here's the thing, guys. It, like I said, it's a very low bar and I can punch holes in it. There are many reasons people take their shopping carts that aren't emergencies. They don't have a car. The bus isn't running. They have to get it home and they don't want to take two trips, okay? So they take the shopping cart with them. 
Poor people do that all the time. Homeless people take shopping carts all the time. It doesn't determine whether they are able to self-govern in such a society. Think about it. Think about it for a second. You have to consider the society they're in. You have to consider the backdrop, so to speak. Now, like I said, I can think of many things that determine whether somebody is able to self-govern better than the shopping cart theory. One of them is, what did you put in your shopping cart? One of them is, how much did you spend in the store there with how much money you have? Okay, how much did you need to spend? Things like that. Those are more determinative factors than whether you returned your shopping cart, like the Confederate guy that I see in our store, who always returns his. He carries around a swastika. He carries around the little Confederate flag. He's got some mental problems. He always returns his, always returns his cart. Is he more capable of self-governing than somebody who doesn't? Come on, man. Come on. You know that's not true. You know that's not true. Now, let me just list a couple of these things. Just some of the beliefs. Just some of the beliefs that I think are much more determinative. What do you believe about climate change? Do you think it's a hoax? If you do, we got some problems. The flat earth. If you believe the earth is flat when you can go out there and prove that it's not on your own, that's bad juju right there, man. You are not going to be able to run a society. Okay, you're going to be the burning book sort of society. <laughs> you really are going to be. Age of the universe, same deal. Evolution, same deal. If you do not believe in evolution, it doesn't really matter because it's taking place as we speak. If you do not believe in the age of the universe, you think it's 6,000 years old, you're going to run a burning book sort of society or household, okay? That's just how it is. Housing beliefs, wage beliefs, voting beliefs, education beliefs, environmental beliefs, healthcare beliefs. Those are just beliefs, not just actions. You want to talk about more actions other than what you shop for, what you spend it on? How about how you take care of your body? How about what you consume? Isn't that much more indicative of whether you're able to self-govern. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I just wanted to shoot this shit. It was a little bit of fun. I'm going to put this in the description for you. Go check it out. You can have some fun with it. Don't take it too seriously because if that's all we got, this is it. This is it, folks. This is the best we can do. That's the low bar, the one that's under the ground. No, no, no. It cannot be that way. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.